Before we can start calculating volumes of prisms, it is a very wise idea to, to take a moment and to think about, okay, what is a prism actually? And I don't want to uh, get too technical about the definition. I just want to give you a few examples, and I'm pretty sure that you then will understand the concept of a prism. All right. Well, first of all, a prism is a three-dimensional figure, so 3D, okay? And I drew here an example of a prism. A prism has two sides which are identical, which are exactly the same, and which are also parallel, yeah? So as you can see here, um, for instance, or well, for instance, this triangle is exactly the same and parallel to that triangle at the back. Yeah? We actually can't see that one, but they are identical. Yeah? And they're also parallel. And if this would be a piece of cheese yeah, or a piece of chocolate, if I would take my knife and if I would cut it anywhere yeah, between, let's say, the front side and the back side, if I cut it anywhere with a straight cut, then if I just quickly sketch that, then the area or the figure I'm getting is still identical to that front side and back side, yeah? So if I would cut it there, that triangle is exactly the same as that triangle in front and the triangle in the back, yeah? And if I would do that anywhere yeah, between those two faces, I would get every time the same identical triangle. Uh, let me do it one more time. Over there, yeah, so that goes roughly over there. So it doesn't matter where I cut it, that triangle is the same. Okay, so that is a prism, okay? It has two sides which are identical and parallel, yeah, three-dimensional, and everything between those two sides is the same, nothing changes, okay? Now, I want to give you a few more examples um, here, for instance. Can you see that? So this is a three-dimensional, and it is actually a cube. Yeah? And a cube, if you like, is a special uh, prism, yeah? because also a cube, if I look at the top face now and the bottom face, they are identical. Yeah? And everything in between, if I would cut it, yeah, will, be, will give me that same square as at the top or at the bottom. Yeah, so a cube is also a prism. Um, then I have another example here, for instance, this one, you see that? If you like, this is a triangular prism, eh? there's a triangle, yeah. and that is identical as that triangle, and everything in between, yeah, nothing changes. Yeah? So that is the one I actually drew here, roughly. Okay? So if I would cut it here, all the way through, and if I would open it, yeah, then I'll see this triangle. Yeah? And I have another one here. Look, it has one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a hexagonal prism, if you like. And I have a hexagon here, parallel to another identical hexagon there. And uh, to go from this hexagon to that hexagon, it all goes, yeah, um, nothing happens. Eh? So these are all, if you like, parallelograms. Okay, but I don't want to get too technical about the definition. Yeah, but this is also a prism. If I would cut it anywhere here, then I would see the same hexagon. Okay, now I want to give you an example of what is not a prism. For instance, this triangular pyramid. Yeah, I do not have two faces which are parallel and identical. Yeah, although these faces are identical, yeah, they're not parallel. If I would cut it here, yeah, all the way through, I wouldn't get the same triangle as this one. Yeah, so this is not a prism. Yeah, but as long as you have a three dimensional figure with, let's say, two sides which are parallel, uh, two end sides which are parallel, and uh, nothing strange happens in between, everything stays the same, then we're talking about a prism. Finally, I have here a cylinder. Now, a cylinder also has two end sides which are the same, and they're circles, and if I would cut it through anywhere, I'd get the same circle. Yeah. However, officially, a cylinder is not a prism, because these need to be um, yeah, uh, parallelograms in between. Um, so, um, how, what else? I'm, I'm confusing myself now. It should be uh, flat faces anyway, it can't be curved, okay? So technically a cylinder is not a prism, but it works the same way as a prism, okay? So don't worry too much about that. 
Okay, so now have a look at some questions because what are we going to use prisms for? And that, of course, is a lot more interesting than what I've been talking about so far. But still, it's good to, to sometimes take some time and think about certain words. What does it actually mean, a prism? Okay, I'll see you at the example questions.